Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. That's per the thumbnail. We're going to be adding 540 more watts of solar panels. Now, if you go back, I don't know, four or five years, when I first did my install for the solar that's on the roof, I have four 280 watt panels. And so I went on Facebook Marketplace and tried to find those, and this is the closest I could get. So we're only 10 watts off. And all of the other um, parameters that are on this panel are pretty darn close. They're within, uh, you know, 3% of what this panel is. So, got a deal on these. They were uh, 70 bucks each. And so, uh, I came up with this idea. That something I wanted to do for a while. Is to create an awning that goes out a little bit you know five feet or six feet from the top of the shelter so that when we're parked somewhere we have a little bit of protection and shade on the door there and if it's raining out we can have the door open and listen to the sound of the rain on the on the awning or whatever I was originally going to use a piece of uh, stainless just to make a, a little you know shade but I came across these panels and it was a deal that was too good to pass up so we're gonna incorporate those into the solar installation that I already have which will enhance the solar effect or the rate or the solar radi irradiance um, and provide a few more watts currently with the 1120 watts that are on the the roof, the best I think I've ever seen anywhere was 900 watts at the peak of the day and it only held that for maybe, you know, five, 10 minutes. And that was because the panels are mounted flat on the roof, so your efficiency is a lot less than if you were tracking the sun. Anyhow, adding these, I would expect maybe 400 or 500 watts added to that on a on a peak day and uh yeah in the winter it's going to be a lot less than that obviously because the sun isn't as bright and it's not there as long during the day but anyhow i digress um i'm just going to get into it <laughs> you can kind of follow along with me in the time lapse i have a blueprint in my mind of what i want so uh Hopefully that all works out onto this build. But anyhow, let's get started.
Well guys, this is what I came up with after monkeying around with it and adjusting it for about three hours. That's gonna be the travel position. If I try to go past that, the struts bottom out, and if I try to adjust the struts, they don't lift up the uh, awning as high or they don't, or they, they're too strong to, to pull the awning down. So that's kind of where I'm at. Now, I'm using a, an axle strap attached to a bracket with some um, carabiners. But watch this. leaves it at an angle which is perfect the door opens and everything and it's gathering solar and I'm happy with it I still have to wire it and I still need to make a little um 
I have some stainless steel left over from the Rusty project and I'm gonna make a uh, awning to make up for that space that's open up there, which should work out pretty good. But uh, as far as today's episode goes, I think that's probably gonna be it. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. There's gonna be a part two to this, obviously, because I gotta get it wired and show you guys how how many watts it added to the solar and all that fun stuff, but that'll be for another day. This has pretty much wiped me out. I'm exhausted. But other than that, uh, I hope you guys are staying safe taking care of each other and as always I will catch you next time see you later bye bye